Well, hello again. Here's another good one for the five minute treatment. Are there too many people? Well, many people argue that uh, we are well over the sustainable number of people now, given the lifestyle choices that many of us make and, and our reluctance to change them. And <clears throat> on the other hand, other people poo poo that and say, look, we can handle population growth and we can enjoy it. Okay, so what are the yes arguments? Well, number one, the biodiversity extinction crisis is well underway. It's really quite distressing. We're constantly confronted by lists of beautiful birds that are disappearing. There's mass ocean pollution, there's trash, there's plastics, the coral reefs are declining, rubbish is appearing on beaches and so forth, and all of this is happening because the more people there are, the more consumption there is, and as people get richer, they want to consume more, and that makes the problem even worse. So, all in all, overpopulations resulting in a cycle of, I don't know, environmental despair that we have to somehow break. Uh, we must reduce population, that's the answer. Okay, what about the no people? What do they say? Well, first of all, they say the math is wrong because of declining birth rates everywhere in the world, population is sure to peak out anyway, probably before the end of this century, it will then decline. So, so don't keep railing against population growth, it's, it's going to stop. Uh, the apocalyptic prediction, predictions of, of uh, Armageddon from population growth have come and gone. They, they've always been proven wrong. Uh, somebody said about 50 years ago that we'd run out of food, well, we didn't, etc., etc. The big contributor countries to environmental problems, the principal focus of population growth opponents are the ones where population decline is expected. So it's all backwards. Uh, those that are very, very poor, where they have a lot of people, don't produce much environmental uh, damage. We can manage many more people through technology, the advances in green, sustainable technology and all that in the past decades has been astronomical. And as women become more educated around the world and gain more power in the relationship, they always opt for fewer children and that's happening everywhere. So the issue really is consumption, not population. Well, what's my take on it? Well, <laughs> I'm afraid I have what must be a controversial and even renegade view of this. I do believe that the wonderful David Attenborough, however well-intentioned, may be wrong. The problem is not population. The problem is the behavior of humanity. Uh, there's ample opportunity for population growth and in any case, uh, it is due to decline, probably by mid-century. Uh, the priority has to be to defeat humanity's destructive behavior. Uh, things like plastic use, uh, discarding it, uh, meat consumption, uh, industrial and vehicular pollution, global warming, and all those other Anthropocene uh, malevolent effects on the Earth. Well, there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> you probably, not all of you did. Uh, in any case, if you did, give me a like, uh, the usual stuff, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, notify, and uh, that's all I've got to say. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.